Hey guys, Buffer Gaming back bringing another video today. We're going to be covering the Barnett Headhunter Crossbow, which was added to the game with today's update here on January 22nd, 2020. So we'll go, go ahead and get into this. I'll show you how you unlock this particular crossbow in the game. We'll go ahead and look at the different attachments for it, build it up, and then we're going to see how it handles in a real game against bots. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So here is our final product, the Barnett Headhunter. Now this is really a hybrid between the Barnett Headhunter and the Scorpio Oculus. Is really they both very similar looking crossbows. They're both reverse draw crossbow crossbows. So let's go ahead now and look at how you actually unlock this. So if I were to back out, there's two ways to do this. The first is by the store. So this is going to be the easiest way if you want to get your hands on this right away is the Arctic Beast bundle. So this bundle for 1200 COD points in the store, it comes with five total items, one being the blueprint for the crossbow called Iceland. So it just basically just has a wintry finish to the weapon itself. It has the XRK Thunder 200 pound arms on it for maximum bolt velocity. You have a optic for just an aim point optic on there, no zoom level. A FFS speed track stock, the FTAC Blackburn 20 20 inch bolts. So those are going to be your explosive tips. And then you have your sleight of hand perk. So that's the blueprint for the particular crossbow that you can get your hands on right away if you want to play with this for 1200 COD points. Other things that come with Howling Spawn, Abominable Calling Card, a uh, Frostburn sticker, and a tear skip. So that's the one way to get a hold of it. The other way, if you were to go to your weapons, and this is really odd how it's. Um, made available here. It's not really out in the open. Uh, hopefully they change this on the interface. But you need to go to your marksman rifles and you'll find it here. So the unlock criteria is using a marksman rifle. Let's see what it says. Using a marksman rifle with a reflex optic, get five kills in 25 different matches. So you need to have one of these marksman rifles with a reflex sight on it. And you need to get five kills in 25 different matches. So essentially... Just use one of these, get five kills, swap to another weapon, 25 t and 25 different matches, and then you'll be good to go, and you'll have access to the crossbow or the, or the Barnett Headhunter hybrid with the Scorpion Oculus. So now let's go ahead and jump back to our custom game, and we'll take a look at the particular crossbow and look at the attachments. Then we'll go ahead and get in game and play with the attachments that I personally find best as of now with the limited time I have playing with it. So first off, let's go ahead and strip it. So here we have our base crossbow. And you can see at base, it just comes with standard iron sights. No zoom there. You have your iron sight with your, um, looks like I got a, I don't even know what that is. It almost looks like a red dot, but it's, it's uh, really you're using iron sights. It's just your part of your iron sights, it looks like. So this is the base version of the weapon. So what we're gonna do for this, you have the, all these options. So we'll go through them all quick. We have a 16 strand cable and a 28 strand cable. So the 16 strand cable is going to be lower tension, lightweight cables, fire bolts with exceptional accuracy at lower velocity. So you can see here the pros being accuracy, the cons being bolt velocity, meaning they're going to be traveling slower, especially over a distance. So the second one is the 28 strand cable. So this is going to be pros for bolt velocity and the cons being bolt accuracy. So you're sacrificing damage at range essentially for accuracy with this one. This is a high tension heavyweight cable fires bolts at a higher velocity but with less accuracy so personally i choose the 28 strand cable we want as much velocity as we can to make this a one-shot kill now arms so you have your base arms and then you have your three options here so the first off is the xrk thunder 200 pound arms so there's a heavyweight 200 pound draw for maximum bolt velocity the pros being damage at range Bolt velocity, the cons being recoil control, aim down sight speed, and movement speed. And then the second is the XRK Quill 100 pounds. So for this one is the pro is going to be aim down sight speed, movement speed, and recoil control. But the cons, again, you're taking a hit there with the bolt velocity. Now the third one is the XRK Carbon Elite. And you can see the difference as we scroll through the Carbon Elite. So this is going to be your pros for ADS speed and the con being bolt velocity again. So carbon fiber arms improve handling with slightly lower bolt velocity. So if you're really looking for movement, you're going to want the, the 100 pound quill. 
Um, for what we're doing and what I've played with, I'm, I'm gonna go with the two XRK 200 pound because this seems to give me you want you want that bolt velocity at range, and this seems to make it a one hit kill. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now for the tack laser, I'm actually gonna run a tack laser on this just to fill a slot, but I'll show you. You know, you can run other options here, but for to maintain the aesthetics of the Barnett Headhunter, we're gonna go ahead and just. Um, skip out on some other attachments so we'll be doing the tack laser so this is just your standard tack laser ads speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness are your pros and your cons are going to be the laser is visible to enemies only when you're adsing so just keep that in mind now for an optic here you could stay with the standard iron sights that it comes with you could throw the aim point on that we see on the blueprint that we looked at there's also two custom optics here so you have the xrk mid track four times scope so this is a high powered four times scope converts this crossbow into accurate long range weapon then you also have another one here which is essentially our variable zoom is the xrk range master v2 so advanced scope zooms between three and 5.6 for fighting at extended ranges so scope get invisible again with this this is basically like i said your variable zoom so we're going to go ahead and do is select this because we can go for a lower or a higher zoom than the other custom scope that we saw here for the mid track. So we'll go ahead and stay with the XRK Range Master version two. Now stock, we're gonna skip out on this just to maintain the cosmetic look of the Barnett Headhunter. But for the stock, your options here are Force Tag Apex. This is gonna be pros for aiming stability with a con being aim walking movement speed. Second one is the Force Tag Dart CB. So this is your lightweight crossbow. Stock provides exceptional agility while aiming. So this is obviously your aim walking movement speed, comb being aiming stability. And the third and final one is the FFS speed track. So this is gonna assist with our aim down sight speed and the cons being our aiming stability. So, but again, to maintain the cosmetic look of the Barnett Headhunter or the Scorpioid Oculus, we're gonna go ahead and skip out on the stock and keep that custom look that we want for the IRL builds. Now perks. The one thing I'm going to do here is so we go through the perks. You have heavy hitter, sleight of hand, frangible wounding, fully loaded, presence of mind, mo money, focus, fast melee, recon, and frangible disabling. So we're going to go ahead and do sleight of hand just because this thing takes quite a long time to reload. And if you miss a shot, you're going to be dead. So we're going to use a sleight of hand perk. And even with that, it does take a long time to reload. So just keep that in mind when you're picking and choosing attachments. Now for the bolt, we have our base bolt, which is a 20... 20 inch bolt and you can actually recover your base bolt so you can shoot those and go and pick them up and recollect your ammo so all of these three other options you cannot collect these bolts so what they are you have the ftac fury 20 inch bolt this is going to be your explosive tip so carbon bolt with timed explosive sticky tips deal less damage but devastating devastating targets upon detonation so this is your explosive tip round if anyone's a rambo 2 fan there you go your cons being bolt velocity and bolt accuracy so keep that in mind you're not going to get one hit kills with this but they will the bolt will explode after i believe three seconds it seems like and then it's going to be an instant kill if you hit your target but usually they are not going to die instantly unless you're very close range Next up is the FTAC Venom 20 inch bolt. So this is going to be a bolt with high pressure tear gas cartridge that detonates on impact with flesh. Um, detonated bolts cannot be recovered again. Only the standard bolts can and are undetectable by trophy system. So I believe, yeah, so this is gonna be tear gas. Again, your cons being bolt accuracy and bolt velocity. Now the final one is the FTAC Blackburn 20 inch bolt. So this is a thermite tipped bolt that Ignites on impact, sticks to metal, and effective against vehicles. So if you're playing ground war, this may be one of your choices. Um, again, bolt cannot be recovered since it's going to be detonated. And are, these are, again, undetectable by trophy systems. So pros is the thermite tip. The con being bolt accuracy and bolt velocity. So none of these three can be recovered. And, but they all are also undetectable by trophy systems, which is a, a good thing. All three of them are undetectable by trophy systems so you can get through, especially in ground war on vehicles. But one thing I noticed, I'm gonna stay with just the standard 20 inch bolts, no special bolt here, just because it allows us to get that one hit kill. And that's kind of what I'm looking for with this, especially due to the reload time on this, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just stay with the standard bolts for this. 
And then for the underbarrel, again, we're gonna skip out on this because we wanna maintain the cosmetic look of the Barnett Headhunter, but your options are the FTAC speed grips. This is gonna assist with your, this is basically your commando foregrip. It's gonna assist with your aim down sight speed and your sprint to fire speed with your con being aiming stability. You have an XRK precision grip, which I believe is your ranger foregrip. So this is gonna assist with your aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. Cons being aim walking movement speed. And the third one is the XR or XRK Talon. So this is gonna be pros being recoil control and the cons being aiming stability. So some different, um, this is very similar to your operator foregrip. This is kind of a different type of grip. I don't believe this is the same stats as a ranger foregrip or even a Merc, I can't recall, but regardless, and you have the, your Commando foregrip here, which again, slightly different uh, pros and cons as well. So those are your options here. You can see how it changes the the bolt is, it puts a Picatinny, Picatinny rail on the bottom there. So we're gonna go ahead again, as I said, and skip out on that for cosmetic purposes. So this is our final build. And you can see we have our tacklers there on the bottom and we have our standard stock and under barrel there. So this is the final build. Let's go ahead now and what I'm gonna do is get in game. We'll fire off a couple of the bolts. I'll swap to the different bolts just so you can see how they explode. And then we'll go ahead and get in game against bots with this particular build and just see how it performs. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Take that match. Okay, now that we're in game with our Barnett Headhunter, let's go ahead and see how it performs. So what I'm gonna do is swap in and out of the different tips here just so we can see how they perform in game. So first off, I'm just gonna try and line this up. We're using the thermite tipped rounds here. And we're basically just going to see if we can line up some shots and see how these perform during this game. So again, I call this the Barnett Headhunter Hybrid because it really is a hybrid reverse draw crossbow between the Barnett Headhunter as well as the Scorpion Oculus. So let's go ahead and see if we can get... So you can see he did not die instantly from the bolt there, but he died about a half a second, second later due to, due to the thermite. So let's just play around with that a little bit more, see if we can get some shots at range with it. Now again, you can see the reload speed on this is not great. It's, even when we have sleight of hand, it does take a while to reload. So let's wait and see if we can get some shots here. We may need to move. So this is kind of where we have this one built for maximum velocity, but again, this is probably isn't the Greatest builds, you can build this for almost like a running gun also. So you can see the thermite tips, not very useful. They don't kill instantly and they put you in kind of in a bind. So let's try the Venom. These are gonna be the tear gas bolts. And let's see how these perform against enemies. Let's... So let's see if we can get some shots here. Nope. So in real life, the Barnett Headhunter up to 350 feet per second. The Barnett three arrow quiver, meaning it allows you to carry three arrows on a quiver to choose between which arrow you want. Let's see. So I'm pretty sure that guy was already damaged. But again, this isn't going to be an instant kill usually. See if we can get some range. Nope, overshot. Enemy near Main Street. So that actually does appear. That was a headshot, and this being realism, that could be why. But this one appears to be more of a one-hit kill with the tear gas bow. Seems like we need to reposition a bit here. See if we can get behind this tank, get some shots. And I have my MP7 on sling here. Gotta reload. Oh. See, this is the problem: is the rate of fire and the reload speed are very slow on this. So you can see there, that was not an instant kill. There we go. This second shot on that guy. So again, definitely want to have like amped as a perk and be able to have a good weapon on sling. 
So here, you can see the reload speed. I'm definitely dead, right? So now let's try the the explosive tip. So we're gonna try the fury bolts. These are timed explosives. So this is gonna give us about a three second delay before it explodes. So let's see if we can get some shots and see how this explodes. Then we'll go to the base bolts, which are what I recommend for this build. Let's see if we can get ourselves in a position. Oh my god. So that's the problem with realism being headshots. Let's try this again. Now, again, this was added today, so you do have the opportunity to just buy this outright with the blueprint, or you can do the challenges where you need to use the marksman rifle with a essentially a red dot sight and get five kills in 25 different games with that. So you can see straight away the downsides of this is that it's just, if you miss a, an arrow, it's very, very punishing and you're essentially gonna, you're just gonna pay for it unless you get lucky. So the build that we have here has a slower ADS obviously, has a headshot so it's gonna be a one hit kill. This would be good for placing explosives if you know enemies are coming around a corner or something along those lines. You'd be able to get shots there down a hallway or a corridor and most likely get those kills. See if we can get, I want to see if we can get some shots at range here too. There's a three second delay about right in the head. So the accuracy is actually very good on this. There we go. So that didn't kill him right away, but we got the explosion. Boom, there we go. <laughs> nice. So that's the explosive tip and how that performs. Definitely satisfying when you get a nice body shot and watch that explode. So now one thing we can do is See, at a, at, a, at a range like that, you're going to get the kills. So this is where you would obviously want, if you're going to be running and gunning, you can absolutely build this out with the right attachments to give you a red dot sight. You just shoot one in there. Reload. So that's the reload speed is the problem. So now let's just try the base bolts with this particular build. I'm going to just deselect these. I'm going to throw my tack laser back on and we'll see how it performs with the base bolts. These seem to be a one hit kill, even at, at a further range. So let's try this now. Enemy at the so you can see there, there's a kill. And that was a body shot. We have maximum bullet velocity on this. I missed that one, unfortunately. So here we go, sleight of hand reload is just very slow. Get this guy if he rounds the corner. Keep fighting, we got this. Personal radar drone ready for escort. Okay, so you can see the tw the standard 20, 20 inch bolts are are brutal with their damage there. Change your max. But that is the Barnett Headhunter hybrid, and I say again, hybrid with the Scorpion Oc Oculus, it's the Barnett Headhunter crossbow. Let me know what you guys think of the description below. Is this something you would use in game? I know personally it's not something I'll ever use in multiplayer and just not that kind of player, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Are you excited for this crossbow? And until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.